Hello, welcome. If you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN at 1-800-775-9413. Tell them you would like to see the sinner's prayer. That you do believe in God and Jesus. Um, it says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. It's a Billy Graham prayer. It's at findmyhope.org. Or you can call CBN 1-800-775-9413. www.cbn.com. Pray about it and read your Bible. So I dreamt about seven years ago. Jesus returned and I got left behind. But praise God, it was a warning according to Joel 2 verse 2 8. And I was able to give my heart and life to God and Jesus. And you can too, amen. Um. So everybody can be saved, pray for people, pray over people. Um, give people hope, tell people there's, you know, deliverance prayers if they need like deliverance or there's other prayers out there from things if they need like lots of prayers. Uh, there's awesome books out there. Uh, Tell CBN, you said that uh, prayer, the sinner's prayer, that you ask God and Jesus into your heart and life, they'll pray that prayer with you. Any other type of prayers, they'll pray with you. That's a real prayer line if you need prayers. So this is the booklet that they send. It's called A New Day. It's from Christian Broadcasting Network. Uh, so it has questions and answers you might have about coming to know Father God and Jesus. Like, how can I be sure I won't lose my salvation? John 10, verse 28 through 29. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has give them, given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. Romans 8, verse 15 through 17. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. So this is in scripture. It's pretty awesome. First John 5, verse 12 through 13. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. How can I be forgiven if I sin? 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and forgive us our sins and purify, purify us from all unrighteousness. Psalm 32 verse 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. So God knows all your sins known and unknown sins. Um, I'll just turn away from those and start walking towards life. Uh, he is life. Romans 3 verse 20 through, two, through 24. The righteousness from God comes through faith in Christ, Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Oh, that's one way. I like that scripture. Um, so in one of my dreams and visions, um, I don't know, it just felt like God was here. His presence was here and it was pretty awesome. Uh, but... In one of those visions, he let me see, like, when all of us go up there, it looked kind of weird, but it looked pretty awesome. Like, we all looked equal. We all looked equal. Uh, Romans 3, verse 22. 3, verse 22 through 24. The righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference for all have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God. So every day everybody sins. And you need God and Jesus all the time. Let's well, say that they don't sin. Um, that's in the first epistle of John. 
can read about that. So Psalm 51, verse 1 through 2, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. So blot out my transgressions, blot out his, your sin. Um, so there's a bunch of scriptures that also talk about don't blot out my name. Even Moses was talking to God about that. Uh, don't blot his name out from the book of life. Uh, there's books up there. And when you pray, there's like the prayers go up. Um, sometimes you need to uh, cover those with the blood of Jesus. Ah, they just go up and they're like letters and they look like little pure white, beautiful little lights that go up. Um, To, like God's throne and they're pretty amazing they look uh, I don't know alrighty hope you guys are having a good day oh. I don't know what the hell he's saying alrighty I'll post the other videos maybe um, try to figure out other stuff because uh, there's there's the uh, other dreams and visions that he gave me. Again, we all looked equal almost, and it looked really weird because it was um, he was showing me in a vision the separation. Sheep were going on the right, and the goats were going on the left. And talks about this in the book of Matthew, I think after twenty four. Um, Oh, I want to share with you guys Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. So praise God. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy, for the word of the Lord is right. And all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded it. He commanded, sorry, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nations whose God is the Lord and the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. So praise God. <laughs> Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling he looks on all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts individually. He consider, considers all their works. No king is saved by the multitude of an army. A mighty man is not delivered by a great strength. A horse is a vain hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, just as we hope in you. So, um, read your, read your Bible daily. It is daily bread. It is in the Lord's prayer, you know. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is thy kingdom, and thy power, and thy glory, forever and ever. Amen. So praise God. That's really powerful when um, sometimes the whole congregation says <laughs> prayer. Because <laughs> you're, you're asking, you know, 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Holy, holy is his name. His name is really holy. He's so, like, he's pure. He's beautiful. He's everything good. Love, joy, peace. He's so beautiful. And in that Jesus returning dream, that's what I... You, you just feel that he's love, joy, peace, and he's pretty amazing. God is God is everything. He makes all the bad things disappear, and they can't even be in his presence. All this <laughs> flee and run away from like anger, wrath, malice. I mean, like even speaking bad can't even be in his presence. Like you, you, when you have the fear of the Lord. And it's like the good kind of fear. I don't know, even taking his name in vain, you know that sin that he he took for you on that cross, you know it hurt, you know it was real. Like he came in the flesh like you and I are flesh and his hand hurt. When they showed that thorn on top of his head, um, it hurt, it really hurt. You in the back um, so again there's things that people go through if you want to get baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire um, it's pretty amazing um, again I'm not I don't think anything like special or anything it just because he sees us all equal he loves all of us amen just keep away from sin <clears throat> again go towards him start walking towards life reading your bible you can pray about that, that. Um, again say the lord's prayer if you can if you're like a preacher and teacher have your whole congregation say that prayer Our father who art in heaven <laughs> i don't uh, there's I get never that like I didn't you know <clears throat> wake up one day and um, say hey I'm gonna start talking about God and Jesus and stuff it was just just somebody was posted about Jesus on Facebook and again that's how I was saved that's how I was truly saved because I had known about Father God and Jesus in my younger days um, but never really thought about it like how I think about it now and, um, to me I grew up in an awesome household we had my mom and dad had Jesus in the house and preachers would come over and bless and pray for the house and everything and it was pretty amazing um, it's not until I went off on my own like towards college and then I didn't realize <laughs> I just kept trying to keep my faith and then other things in life happened and I was just like I don't know kind of went away from him for a while and somehow he brought me back again all it took was somebody sharing Jesus on Facebook how they stepped out in faith to share Jesus Amen. Um, before it was snatched away and taken off, like Facebook. Um, before the enemy took it away. So I clicked on it. All it said was Jesus. Um, it was Abraham Ipley George's testimony. If you haven't read his testimony, it's pretty amazing. Um, there's a couple of websites that have up the two-page testimony that he put up. Um, and then he also has a book out by Glenn Herman, uh, The Celestial Traveler. Um, again, he's from back home and his testimony is pretty amazing and it's true. Um, so tell people about Father God and Jesus. Um, you should pray for, I pray about it too, Lord Jesus. Um, you know, ask him to go forth before you because it's not you that will save them it's him through you that will save people amen um, again it's like 
barely at all are we saved by grace. Uh, barely. Is any of us saved at all? I mean, we like have like, it looks like dirty brown, almost like dirt. Like, I don't know, maybe like on a dusty day, sometimes it's kind of that kind of brownish dirt. That's what the, our, our garments or filthy, sinful garments look like. And um, I don't know, you just need to pray for people that God and Jesus will set them free because there's, there'll be that separation up there. And it looks really scary. I was just, I was crying. I was crying so <clears throat> for all those lost that didn't accept Jesus and they knew. And they were dragging their feet, just screaming, no, 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 no. And these holy angels were grabbing them. And they looked like they had armor on or something. That, like, and their armor sounded really like, I mean, that was under the authority of God they had. They were doing that. And they're walking around going, <laughs> And it's really like there's an army up there, an army of holy angels. Um, and uh, you do you just need to tell people about Father God and Jesus. If you believe, you need to tell people, amen, that you pray for people, even your enemies, even if they curse you. You pray for them, you hand them to God. Um. Alrighty, could I go to talk to you guys later? Goodbye.